launches by 2025. Talking this time about space radiation or cosmic radiation, the uh, high intensity radiation that severely affects astronauts and is currently limiting our uh, engagement with uh, space exploration. Uh, some time ago, just a few months ago, we published an article in the Journal of Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine on different methods that astronauts and uh, future space miners can to prevent the effects of radiation. This particular article was all about the use of the equipment that can help get the stem cells out of the body, increase the number of stem cells, put them back into the body and regenerate the astronaut. The second part of our project is looking at protecting the stem cells. Uh, stem cells are still liable to be greatly affected by cosmic radiation. What we do know, and with other researchers, that in Australia is that there's various plants and herbs that are subjected to high intensity ultraviolet and cosmic radiation, and that these are situated in the Northern Territory of Australia, and that the plants have developed very profound chemicals Phenols that help the plant protect itself against the effects of cosmic radiation. Uh, this is an extract of some of these herbs here. Uh, once you've got the herb, you can produce a work for uh, solid phase extraction chemistry and identify the actual active components of the herbs here. Australia's uh, Complete with uh, fantastic uh, plants and wildlife. And the Australian Aborigines have been well versed in the use of herbal medicine for 50, 10, 60,000 years. Uh, a very thriving culture, and they've adapted very well, in part due to the plants that is surrounding them. working on this project of combining the various herbal ingredients uh, from the Australian herbs into a formidable formula that you can take and protect your stem cells against gamma radiation and high energy particles that occur in space. When Chinese presidents actually talked to Nia